MCP. You might have heard of it, right? Yeah, I'm talking about the model context protocol, which is changing how AI agents interact with real-time web data. So what's MCP? It's an open standard that lets AI agents pull real-time data from websites, APIs, or databases securely and smoothly. Think of it as the bridge between LLMs and the chaotic, ever-changing web. Now here's the thing. LLMs are smart, no doubt, but real-time info? Not their strong suit. They're trained on static data, so if you ask for live updates, you'll often get outdated answers or run into errors. Let me show you an example. Here I asked Claude to get the latest comments on this YouTube video, but you can see, it couldn't get the info. You could build your own MCP setup to solve this, but it's a headache. Proxy handling, JavaScript rendering, agent compatibility. It's hours of work and constant debugging. That's where Bright Data's MCP steps in. It's a plug-and-play tool that gives your AI agents unblockable access to the real-time web. It handles all the complexity, proxy management, headless browsing, dynamic rendering, all abstracted behind a clean MCP interface. Now, if I rerun that prompt with more tasks, boom, it starts scraping the link and pulling fresh data. It's using Bright Data's MCP tools under the hood. And just like that, info is extracted without any hassle. You get access to 58 powerful tools for real-time data from Amazon, YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Zoom, X, Zillow, and Google. Basically, anything that's online. So, how did I do this? Let me show you. So, the first step, and the most important one, is to make sure Node.js is installed. You'll need the npx command to run the MCP server. The next step is to set up an account on Bright Data. After that, you'll need to add an MCP configuration file in Claude. So, make sure you already have it in your system. All right. Now to edit Claude's config, click on File, go to Settings, then Developer, and hit Edit File. This will open the Claude Desktop config.json file. Now, open it in your favorite editor. Once the file is opened, then head over to this GitHub repo. Link is in the description, copy the config code, and paste it in. Once this is done, you'll need to fill out the real values here. Just head to your Bright Data dashboard and go to the Proxies and Scraping section. Next, create a scraping zone, click the Add button, and choose Web Unlocker API. You'll see this interface. Copy the API key from here, or you'll get it by email. Paste the key here, then copy your Web Unlocker zone name and paste it here. Now, this next field is optional, but we'll fill it in to enable remote browsing. To do that, add a browser API, give it a name, and create it. You'll see a string here, just copy this part and paste it here. Now all set, just hit Save, and you're ready to scrape real-time data from the web. Now quit the Claude app and then restart it. You'll see that you now have access to Bright Data's MCP tools. And that's it. You can now play around. Give it a try. I'll put the links down and I'll see you in the next one.